click on the last new play and choose number two and select this play and choose catch choose conventity command right click on this edge and select loop and confirm it okay now we need to create a new reference plane so let's choose the front plane and use the reference plane command our distance will be 170 inch and create a studio supplying curve on this new plane and you have to make sure the endpoint are contact with this previous sketch now uh, let's go do the survey step uh, we need to use the fill service command select this sketch and let's go to the constraint curve session and select this sky curve and confirm it and now let's let the let's play and let's choose the reference plane command okay the distance will be two inch and flip the direction and click on confirm now right click on this plane and choose number two and create this 2D sketch by using the supply command and by using the free and technique. Okay. Now is it a sketch? And now let's go to the service step and use a stew service command and set the distance one for one inch. And let's go to the direction two. And let's put 0.3 inch and choose a cap option for both direction. And now let's go to the top view and create this 2D rectangle sketch for the wheel entrance. You can use the freehand technique to create this. Now let's go to the service step and use the trim command. And let's choose the standard trim. Trim 2 will be this sketch and select this face to remove it. Okay, that's look great. Now let's create a reference plane. Our first reference will be the top plane. And choose the distance option. And put the distance about 23 inch. Flip the direction. Uh, we are going to create uh, 2D sketch for wheel right here. So choose number 2. And create this 2D sketch for rim entire. You can create any shape you want. It's up to you and you can use your own dimension too now we are going to uh, choose revolve pause space command first select this center line and choose revolve command and revolve this to 360 degree okay now you can uh, apply any texture on the uh, dial of this wheel and on the rim now we need to create the link for this wheel so let's right click on this face and choose number two okay first let's create a new reference plane select this previous surface and select this opposite surface and confirm it we need this plane to mirror the component Now select this face and choose number 2 and create this 2D sketch for the first link. You need to use circuit and line command to create this. Okay, now let's use the S2 boss space command and S2 this anymore you want and uncheck the match result. Okay, now let's use the meta command. Our main plane will be this last plane and let's choose the body option 
slash this body and may I add to the other side now select this face and choose sketch let's create a circle at this center you can use any dimension you want now let's use the is to command okay let's choose up to body option select this body and confirm it okay now you can add more detail on it to make it more realistic look and you have to create one more link from this uh, link to the inside of this body uh, you can use the same technique to create please do it yourself it is quite busy and easy